In this video, we're going to look at the utility optimizing condition and then do an example problem. To maximize consumer utility, the slope of the indifference curve is equal to the slope of the consumer's budget constraint. The slope of the indifference curve in absolute value is the marginal rate of substitution, MRS. And the marginal rate of substitution is the marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y. The slope of the budget constraint in absolute value is given by the price ratio, the price of good X, divided by the price of good Y. So to maximize utility, the marginal rate of substitution equals the ratio of the prices, the price of good X to the price of good Y. On to our problem. So let's say a consumer has the following utility function, where X and Y represent units of good X and good Y. And suppose that the consumer is maximizing utility when the marginal rate of substitution equals 4. At the utility maximizing consumption bundle, the consumer buys 3 units of good X. How many units of good Y does the consumer purchase? So we know a few things. We know the consumer's utility function. We know that the for this consumer to maximize utility, the marginal rate of substitution must equal 4. And we also know that the consumer is buying 3 units of good X. What we're trying to figure out is how many units of good Y does this consumer purchase. So the maximizing utility condition from the last slide was given as follows. And so we know that the marginal rate of substitution is 4. I could have made any other number up here, but 4 is as good as any. And so what we need now is to get the marginal utility of good x. So to get the marginal utility of good x, we're going to take the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good x, and we get back 2 plus y. The, the derivative or the partial derivative of x here is 1, and this 1 then is being multiplied by 2 plus y. So that's how we get this result. And then the marginal utility of good y, likewise, is a partial derivative, the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. So to get 1 plus x, the way to think about this is that the, the derivative here of y is just 1, and this 1 is being multiplied by what's in the parentheses over here on the left, this 1 plus x. So now plugging these results into our marginal rate of substitution formula, we get the following. And we know that at the utility maximizing consumption bundle, x equals 3. So x I said equal to 3. And now we're just going to solve this for y. So 1 plus 3, we get 4 down here. And then uh, just rewriting that last result. And then 4 times 4, multiplying everything through by 4, we get 2 plus y equals 16. And then subtracting 2 from both sides, the consumer will purchase 14 units of good y. So when x equals 3 and y equals 14, the marginal rate of substitution does equal 4. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.